the brother of now infamous Parkland, Florida school shooter, Nicholas Cruz, is out of the mental hospital he was forced into just days after his brother murdered 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. He had been admitted to the psych facility against his will by the woman he was left to live with after his and Nicola's mother died suddenly in November. Her reasoning for putting him there was not previously made public. The state can only hold him for a couple of days, releasing him back out into the public once the time was up, regardless of his mental health condition. Now that recently turned 18 years old Zachary Cruz is out and alone, he's been left up to his own devices. He has no parents and his only sibling is a notorious mass murderer who he will never see again. Their relationship leading up to this bloodbath has not been spoken of. However, now, we're learning a lot more about Zachary after his sudden arrest Monday night. In a shocking turn of events into this ongoing case, Zachary was just arrested on the Stoneman Douglas School campus, where his brother had just killed former classmates and staff. The teen was caught in the act and now mixed motives into why he was doing what he was are coming out. TMZ reports, the younger sibling of alleged Florida shooter Nicolas Cruz got busted by cops for venturing onto the school grounds, where his brother is accused of going on a killing rampage. Zachary Cruz was arrested Monday by Broward County Sheriff's deputies after the 18-year-old allegedly rode his skateboard onto school property at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. Cops say he told police he decided to visit to reflect on the school shooting and to soak it in. According to the police report, obtained by TMZ, Cruz allegedly broke through multiple locked doors and gates to write his board on campus. Police say he was captured on the school's security camera system and the school says it wants the case prosecuted. Zachary, who was adopted, was booked on one count of trespassing on the grounds or facility of a school, which is a misdemeanor. He's said to have been told by authorities to stay away from the high school for obvious reasons. Some seem to believe that Zachary was on campus to simply skateboard like any other teen does, trying to be normal, which could be something he really wants to feel after suffering devastating life circumstances over the past year. However, others question why he picked the campus for skateboarding given that he was ordered by police to stay away. He's a known face and name which could potentially make him a target to other students still feeling the raw emotion from what his brother about a month ago. Then there's the question, if corrupt Broward County police are covering something up in this arrest. After all, they significantly failed in preventing the shooting in the first place by not responding to obvious threats, then dropped the ball big time during the actual attack and with the investigation after. So maybe they have even more to hide now? While there are a lot of questions into if there were ulterior or even sinister motives into what he was really doing there, one thing is for sure, this teen has suffered insurmountable hardships within a few months and is likely lost and struggling. After being forced into a mental hospital, it was later revealed that his caretaker may have been the one with ulterior motives in doing that as she was trying to claim control over Zachary and Nicola's inheritance. If he had no real reason to be admitted and she did that to make a better case for herself in claiming these funds, then that was more unnecessary hardship on this kid who has suffered too much already. We sincerely hope that there's no mental illness transpiring into action, carried over from what he may have learned from his brother, and that he was just desperate to feel like other kids his age and live a normal life.